Hi, this is Bobby from the Vespasian Warner Public Library, and I'm here with another tale from the archive, where we talk about items and documents from our local history collection. Since this is July, we are going to talk about the American Revolution. Of course, the American Revolution happened in the 13 original colonies, so back east along the Atlantic coast. We don't normally think of Illinois with the American Revolution, but there are certainly ties here. When the revolution ended, there were many people from the 13 original colonies who moved west, settling in the fertile farm regions of Illinois. So in our collection, this is actually one of the oldest items we own, we have the Shaw that's actually from the American Revolutionary period, so late 18th century, the 1770s. It belonged to Rhonda Riggs. Her husband, Thomas Riggs, was actually a soldier. He was in the um, Somerset County, New Jersey militia who fought in the American Revolution and his descendants eventually moved west. And one of his descendants, named Ida Myers, donated this um, item to the library. She was a member of the Daughters of the American Revolution, Dewitt County, uh, Dewitt Clinton chapter. And the Dewitt Clinton chapter also has researched and created this. These are some of the um, Revolutionary War veterans who are actually buried here in Dewitt County. We have John Scott, Samuel Fruit, and Edward Day Sr., who are all buried in small cemeteries around the county. So if you ever make your way out to Rock Creek Cemetery, Tunbridge Cemetery, or DeWitt Cemetery, you can look for these gravestones. One of the reasons that we keep things like this shawl is it helps make history come alive. I mean, you can read about the American Revolution or watch documentaries about it, but when you actually get to see something that belonged to a person from that period, you remember and you realize these were real people. And that's one of the wonderful things about having our local history collection. So thank you for joining me from this tale from the archive, and I hope to see you soon.